Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Donna Eden. And I'm David Feinstein. And because this coronavirus is moving so swiftly and so fast, we wanted to give you a few more things that uh, beyond what I gave about two or three weeks ago. Okay? And you can find that on You'll YouTube. find that on YouTube. Look for Donna Eden, then put in immune, and then find the one that's in 2020, because there's several on immune. You want the one that's 2020, so let's scroll down for it. Okay, so it, just a few more tidbits, because we want our immune system so strong that it can fight this virus trying to come into us. So here is another one, and it's a triple warmer point. And triple warmer, it sometimes gets a bad rap because it also is what causes autoimmune illnesses and everything. When it's aligned with you, when it's uh, fully functioning in its health, it is amazing and it can fight viruses. So if you drop about an inch below your, your wrist here in line with the fourth finger, which is triple warmer, uh, there's a point there. It's right in between the bones. Feel for it. Everybody feel for it right now. And you'll see there's just a dip. You can dip into it and uh, a bone on each side, dip into it and massage it hard. It, uh, and you can do it whenever you're sitting around, when you're walking around, doing anything. You can massage this point. Do it on both sides, on both sides. And it will help get triple warmer in alignment with you and know what it needs to fight. Okay, that's a really important one. I mentioned in the other uh, YouTube video, the neural lymphatics, but I want to stress a couple of them. I want you to starting with K27, go, K27 is if you fall, come to the collarbone, come to the corner and then drop underneath, there's a little dip and no, you ought to notice, is there tenderness there? If there is tenderness, really massage that good because that's what you need to do. It, it, it not only works with your, um, with your kidneys to keep your kidneys functioning really well through this, but it, it is the juncture point for all the meridians so it'll flip them around so they're going in exactly the directions that they need to. It's also very good for your heart. It's good for your lungs. It's very good for this whole section. And then just go one rib. Go, go to the next rib and go in between the ribs and really massage. You can pull it out too. You can just, like you're raking. You can rake out from kidney. You can rake on these neural lymphatic lung points. It's just really excellent, excellent to keep the lungs going well, okay? Uh, let's see. I want, I want you to think of making space in your body. So stretch and make space. If you do stretching exercises, anything like that, that's really good for the body. I'm gonna give you a couple more stretches, easy stretches. I'm gonna stand up to here. I'm putting my hands right in front of my hip bones. There's on one side is the ileocecal valve. One side is the Houston valve. Push in hard and drag them up. Push in hard and drag them up three times and then take your thumb and push down. What that does is it opens up, not only opens up those two valves, but there is a, a communication system between all the valves in the body. And wherever you need valves to be open, uh, it, will, it will open them. And so, and, and the ileocecal valve is the valve between the small and large intestine. It's really important to help the poisons keep moving out of your body. Deep breathing is really good to breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. Okay, here's another thing that's really good for valves in the body. Um, if you take a stainless steel spoon and stretch your mouth, I know it's going to look bad, but all the way around many, many times, I mean, several times. What it does is it stretches all the meridians that come into there and uh, it opens them so that your large intestine, your small intestine, your stomach, your sensual and governing meridians, they're all activated. 
And, the, and if you pull them hard, you can reach meridians that go out to the ears like gallbladder and triple warmer. So it's an excellent thing to do. Okay, the other thing I wanted to say is, you know, I'm a great big proponent of vitamin C. I saw my mother heal herself uh, from tuberculosis with basically vitamin C. And I've always seen this week, I started to get a cold. I thought, oh no, I can't get a cold. And I just chugged a lot of vitamin C. And, uh, and you know, uh, about three or four hours later, it was completely gone, completely gone. And, uh, and now we're finding that the Chinese, for the very first time in Chinese history, <laughs> is uh, the government is really kind of pushing vitamin C and wanting all hospitals to be using it because it has such an impact on the lungs. So, um, so well, the Shanghai report came out on March 1st. Yeah, thank you. That's right. So everything else that I think is really in, important to do, please go to the other video because it'll show you the longer version. These were just some add-ons I wanted to give you. So for the longer one, just Google YouTube, Donna Eden, Immune, scroll down to the 2021. And that will show you a variety of techniques for keeping your immune system strong. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Please, everybody, stay, stay safe, stay healthy, stay in. Okay, bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye.